What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So the market took a huge hit uh, this past week, and I have three dividend stocks at less than $30. Uh, they're dividend growth stocks. Uh, two of them I own. They're, all three of them are food stocks. One of them is on the rise. I want to reveal that one to you guys. So if you're new, hit that notification bell after you subscribe. Smash that like button. Let's check these stocks out right now. The first dividend stock I want to go over is BGS, uh, B&G Foods. I own this one and I'm long in it. It has a dividend yield of 8.84%, a PE ratio of 22.35, volume 1.12 million US dollars. The market cap is 1.48 billion US dollars. Year range is 2105 to 3652. Its day range is 2105 to 2240. And its previous close is 2260. So these guys have a lot of foods in the supermarket. So I'll go over... Um, some of these, you probably even buy them and you don't even know who these guys are because a lot of you guys are new. So I'm going to just do a quick review on these guys. So here's some of their brands that they have. Green Giant, Ortega with like tacos, uh, B&G, um, Ascent, Baker's Joy, Bear Rabbit, Cinnamon Toast Crunch Seasoning, Crock-Pot Seasoning Mixes, a Deca Cake, Einstein Brothers uh, Bagels, uh, Emeralds Products, um, I actually like some of his pasta sauce. I get that sometimes. Joan of Arc, uh, McDonald's, Irish Oatmeal, uh, Old London, New York Style, uh, Skinny Girl. There's a lot of products right there. Uh, Regina uh, Vinegars. So uh, Regina, as they say, I'm used to saying it in the Latin class, so I say Regina. Um, so a lot of these products they carry, um, some of the biggest ones that I like, are um, sometimes I, I see a lot of patients in the hospital have uh, cream a week. That's a big one. Um, their soups and their baking. I mean, they have so many products. I just wanted to do a quick review. I did a detailed review on these guys, but I'm going to show you their revenue and their dividend history. And this is why I own these guys and I'm long in them. And this is what I like about these guys. So check this out. 2015, the revenue in millions US dollars, 966. 2016, 1,372. 2017, 1,646. Uh, 2018, 1,700. 2019, a little bit of a dip. And then 2020, they increased. And look at this in 2021. So 2015 to 2021, a huge increase in revenue. Let's go over their dividend history. So check out this dividend growth. This is 2013. It was 29 cents. 2014, they hit 33 cents, 2015, 34 cents, 2016, 35 cents, and they hit 42 cents in 2016, and then 47 cents in 2018. And then they, they're creeping at 48 cents right here. So that's a decent amount of growth. So in the five years, yes, it's 0.41%, and the payout ratio is 112 percent you have to be a little careful with that and the dividend yield is 8.84 percent and if you bought one share it's 190 you, you get one dollar and 90 cents so i just I, I like going over the payout ratios as well and showing you the dividend increases in the past five years so the dividend growth is a little bit at the halt but again it has grown at a decent rate okay i know 0.41 percent you're like ooh, but the yield is high okay it's on the rise and they have a lot of products in the store so diversification of your dividend portfolio is important so that's kind of why i own these guys and i know there are some red flags the five-year dividend growth doesn't look attractive but their revenue is increasing and i see these guys in demand so i'm going to take the risk and this is why i own these guys and i'm longing them Let's jump to the next dividend stock. I see these guys as a new kid on the block, a very powerful dividend stock that's on the rise. Oots Brands, 1276 is the price. It has a dividend yield of 1.69%, a PE ratio of 42.17. The volume is 617.78K. Market cap is 1.79 billion US dollars. Year range is 1206 to 2542. Its day range is 1256 to 1326. And its previous close is 1319. This is a deal. And I'm going to explain to you guys why I like Oots brands. I don't own them, but I'm highly considering buying them. So once I start racking up more cash with travel nursing, this one is definitely um, going to be on my radar and one that I am highly considering buying. I'm going to have to narrow it down with some other dividend stocks, but I really like this one. And I'll show you why.
So Oot is a very interesting food stock with snacks. And I'm going to tell you that Oot's brand is starting to really blow up in Northeast Ohio. They started off in gas stations. That's the first where I saw them. And here's just some things. They have cheese balls and just you name it. They have snacks. They have their logo on there. And they also bring other things to the table, um, not just Oots, um, which I'll show you. Uh, but this is just these guys with their logo. And I can tell you these guys went from gas station to the grocery stores. I mean, they just blew up like crazy. And these guys are definitely an underrated stock. So, you know, they bring other stuff to the table. I mean, like with their brands right here, like Snyder and um, Kitchen Cooked and all this stuff. But they are on fire and they're expanding like crazy. And I'm going to show you their revenue and their dividend history. And look at this tremendous growth in revenue. 2018, it was 772. 2019, it was 768. 2020, it was 964. And 2021, it was 1,180. That's excellent with dividend. Um, so check out this revenue. 2018, it was 772. 2019, it was 768. 2020, it was 964. 2021, it was 1,180. That's excellent with um, an increase in revenue, which makes these guys attractive as a food stock. So anytime you see an increase in revenue, that's a good sign usually. Let's check out their dividend history. You know, unique about these guys is they're new and they're a new kid on the block. So with um, their expected um, revenue, it's going to get to the point where the board of directors are going to start to say, okay, we need to start hiking our dividend. Now it's 1.69%. Annual dividend is 22 cents if you own one share then dividend increase in the past five years is two but again they're new and the payout ratio is 41 percent so they are starting to uh come with a vengeance so i just want to make you guys aware of these guys and again this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes only disclaimer in the description and i'm going to tell you i would not be surprised if these guys start hiking their dividend like crazy because of their revenue and the demand for these guys and the um, is a snack or slash food stock. Let's jump to the final dividend stock. And before I even go over Flowers Foods, FLO is a symbol. I'm going to congratulate Dapper Dividends on his strategy. He earned, um, he's earning $113 each quarter on Pepsi. He made it to 100 shares. So that's pretty impressive. So, you know, I like my strategy with. 200 you know 400 shares in my previous video so check that out but he made it to 100 and that's quite impressive with pepsi the flowers foods is a food stock a lot of bread they're big with bread so i have done a video on these guys they're sitting at 26.50 their dividend yield is 3.17 percent pe ratio is 27.38 volume 1.54 the market cap 5.62 billion Year range 2261 to 2973, and its day range is 2510. So let's go over their revenue and their dividend history. Here's the thing with these guys their revenue has slowly increased. So if you look at 2015, 3778, 2016, 3926, 2017, 3920, 2018, 3951, 2019, 4001, 23, 2020, 4387, and 2021, 4330. So a little bit of you know, you know, like kinks and stuff that were fixed, but their revenue has increased from 2015 to 2021. So I'll go over their dividend history real quick. Let's check these guys out. Starting in 2016, it was 15 cents. Then they cracked 16 cents in 2016. 2017, they cracked 17 cents. 2018, they cracked 18 cents. 2019, they cracked 19 cents. Then 2020, they cracked 20 cents. And then 2021, they cracked 21 cents. So they have an annualized dividend yield of 84 cents. So if you bought one share, you got 84 cents. Dividend yield is 3.17%. The annual dividend is 5.21%. Number of increases in the past five years is five. The payout ratio is 67%, which is not bad. So I'm going to just say something too. I know some people are commenting about uh, Buffett and store capital in my previous video. He owns a lot of shares in store capital so he still does own it he owns a lot of shares okay he's making a, a lot of money from those guys so i'm just bringing that up it is still buffett owned 
and he's making a ton of money with those guys still. So let me know what you think of this video. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This is Dark Dividend. You guys have a good one.